topics and opinions expressed in the following show are solely those of the hosts and their guests and not those of W4CY Radio, its employees, or affiliates. We make no recommendations or endorsements for radio show programs, services, or products mentioned on air or on our web. No liability, explicit or implied, shall be extended to W4CY Radio or its employees or affiliates. Any questions or comments should be directed to those show hosts. Thank you for choosing W4CY Radio. Welcome to the Eat and Critique Show with restaurant critics Steve-O and Sophia. Brought to you by one of Steve-O and Sophia's favorite Encontro Italian cuisine and steakhouse located on the walk in Coral Springs. Now, sit back while award-winning restaurant critics Steve-O and Sophia share with you the good, the bad, and the ugly in South Florida dining. Good evening, South Florida. Boy, do we have a treat for you tonight. I wish it was a treat for us. It is a treat for us. But we don't get to taste it, though. Well, we already we, did. We did last week. And <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. It, they are cookie artists. They are decadent. Sophie, don't use big words around me. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Most you spray that under cookies. your arm? <laughs> They're the best cookies ever, you guys. And they're here in Lantana. They've only been open for one week so far. And we went to welcome our guests, Michelle and Lucille, her brother. Chef. Hi. Hi. Hey. Welcome to our show. You are the you. most creative cookie maker we've ever had. You're so oh, you're thank you. Delicious. And we found out that you actually trained with Chef Dominique Ansel in New York City, the Cronut Chef. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Can you hear us, Michelle? Yes. You opened up a cookie shop in Lantana and you've been open for one week now. And tell us a little bit of how you got started. What's the name, first of all? Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> we should tell the name of the place. Okay, Milotino comes because I have two babies, Martino and Camilo, and <laughs> make this incredible number <laughs> name. That's cute. That's that a good a, name. Yeah, that's cute. a good name. And you're yes. located where? A uh, 501 West Lantana Road. And you were behind a check cashing. Nails checking, check cashing. Nails check cashing. And you had told Steve and I that you actually trained in New York before you came here with the yes, chef who I invented the cronuts. Yes, I was working like a, a one year. A, he he made the cronut, the very famous cronut. It's amazing bakery. You're an amazing bakery. <laughs> Michelle, tell people the type of cookies you have. Okay, uh, now I'm making my cookies something different than the traditional. Um, all the cookies have a stuff inside. The weight is 117 grams. And every, every week we are changing the flavors. This week we have a caramel popcorn, a carrot cake, and banoffee. Mm. Uh, always uh -oh. I try to do something very, very different. The, the, you know, the traditional. They're delicious. I'm going to have to come in. <laughs> That was our tasting there, the red velvet and that cheesecake. There's the red oh, yeah. velvet cookies. Oh, my gosh. You were so creative. You were so talented. We're showing pictures right now, if you're watching, pictures yeah. of the cookies. And I got to tell you that the cookies. Oh, Sorry, can you repeat? And I... I got to tell you that you have so many different varieties of cookies. It is so hard to choose 
what you want. I, I can hear you. Can you repeat? Sorry. I was saying you have a lot of different varieties of cookies. And it's difficult to pick which one you want to actually try. <laughs> And yeah, I think I'm gonna be back to try. You have to try six, six cookies every week. <laughs> yes, they're so good. And you don't only make cookies, you have the most fabulous looking cakes as well. Oh yeah. And I sent Rebel some pictures of your cakes. Right, thank you. <laughs> oh, look at that. She's talented. Yeah, we make cake for events, for caterings, for every Every kind of parties. That, that I thought was cute, the baby one. <clears throat> I thought that was so creative with the little teddy bear up on the top. You're so talented, Michelle. And then there was I a chocolate you. one that I think it was called forest chocolate or forest fruit. Like forest? No, like it was a chocolate cake. Yeah, this is one's idea. Yes, and you also do sandwiches, sandwiches and coffee. Yeah, our sandwich are a little different because my brother, he's a chef. He made I didn't know that. You didn't it. tell us that. <laughs> Where is your brother? Yeah, <laughs> we introduced both of you. But it, think about it, though. Um, you know, Passover is coming up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, you always, especially when you're having people over, you want something a little different. And what a great way for Passover with Michelle's cookies. Or cake. Or cake. Or cheesecakes. Or sandwiches. <laughs> and, and you had the mousse, right? I had the cheesecake. The I think it was a cheesecake, the, the little mousse that's in the case. Came in the jar? It tasted like a cheesecake. It was in the um, little, like, it was uh, like in a cup. And it was in the showcase. Are those cheesecakes? Yes. So there's so many different occasions. And listen, there, if you're, it's right off of 95. East of 95. Oh. There, there they are. Those Look are at the, those. Yeah, we have like a very 10 different Sorry. Taste flavors. Yes. Tell, tell us about the different flavors. Uh, we have a something traditional for uh, uh, from my country, and uh, tres leches is a very popular for other others country too. But I am doing a different flavor, different flavors, different different flavors like a Nutella, dulce de leche, but it's a tres leches too. I don't the like the traditional. I always I put it something different that the. the the traditional way that's why we liked your bakery like oh, plain you. old average <laughs> what's your what is your number one cookie so far Cook, cookies and cream this is my best cookies seller and cookies cream. and cream and these cookies are big they're not yeah and you know what michelle your prices are really good too yes yeah, six dollars a cookie. It's a good price to cookies. Are, yeah, for the people come to buy. <laughs> they're big cookies, mm. and the and the thing yeah, is, like, yes, it is. <laughs> what? I'm just it's huge. So you just showing how big. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Look at her <laughs> cookie there. Look how big that thing is. <laughs> We should have done our show at the restaurant. Well, we thought about doing it from the restaurant. I'd be grabbing it out of her hand right now. Yeah, <laughs> That's so good. And then your brother's a chef, too. We didn't know that. Yes. And wife, he's shy. Tell him to come on, too. 
We want to talk to him too. So he can talk yeah. about his sandwiches. <laughs> Tell people about the sandwiches. Lucio, uh, we want nice. you too. There he is. <laughs> it's a nice combination of different places. Like I saw recipes from YouTube, TikTok. So I try to make something that I like, but make an innovation of sandwich. You know, make the traditional sandwich like you can buy in different in the different places. So I try to mix uh, some peso burrata with salami, with pepperoni. I make with different types of bread. I make like something new for people over here. That's why I made like three sandwiches. Like we try everybody. It's my signature here with my with my sister. How much are the sandwiches? What's the cost Sorry? for a sandwich? How much? What's How much the is cost like, for the sandwich? Uh, it is ten dollars one sandwich, but it's a big sandwich for a yes. person. It's yes. Very huge. Yes. And you have coffee. Yeah, our you coffee is from coffee? Ecuador. We bring the coffee from Ecuador, so it's really different from here. It's a brand traditional in Ecuador. So it's, the coffee is really different from whatever place you can drink from here. It's different. It's really nice, it's really delicious. Is the Ecuadorian now, coffee? Now, the Ecuadorian coffee is the number one in the world. Oh, wow. I know. Oh, did yeah. Jimmy Butler buy from you? <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a signature coffee. Is like Ecuadorian it. coffee strong? Is it like Turkish and Cuban coffee, or is it light? Like an American no, it's coffee? No, it's so different from Cuba. It's different. That's a signature coffee. It's some different mix of plant flavors that when they toast, the, the flavors it's, it's of the, the flavors of coffee is different. It's more strong, more flavor, and that's why it's different. It's not like a commercial coffee. It's like a filter. Yeah. Signature coffee. It's signature coffee because have a other flavors like almond chocolate and the and the same. Ooh, almond oh, chocolate. Wow. So, Lucio, do you watch basketball? Do you like the? <laughs> no, no, I don't watch basketball. No. Oh, because Jimmy Butler has his own coffee now. He goes around the world buying coffee beans, so he needs to come in there <laughs> and try your Ecuadorian coffee. Uh, yeah, I try, I try to, to try different types of coffee. I, I like that you guys are different. We need diversity in our, in our area. It's nice that you try different things and I'm, I just wish you guys much success because I, it was so full. I took one bite of your cookie, but it was, I couldn't put it down. I ended up eating the whole thing that night. My poor sister didn't even get to try it. Here, here's what Pete, like if you're having an office party, call. we're going to give you their phone number in just a minute, but you call them up, order a couple dozen cookies, and just have a DoorDash deliver them to you. And Mother's yeah, Day is coming up. And, and now we you have Uber Eats too. Now. What, Lucio? We have Uber Eats now too. What? We have Uber no Eats. Connection. Both. So Mother's Day is coming up. And that's another. And graduation is coming up. And this is a perfect place to cater any event because they have sandwiches, cookies, cakes, everything. Yeah. Yeah, now the small Mother's Day is coming, like you say. So we're gonna try like make a special special boxes for different flavors to make like a gift for our mommies. So catering. for catering for the is. for Mother's Day too, but the city I make like little breakfast, little French toast for for Mother's Day. So we're gonna try to do it for that week. What flavor do you think you're gonna have for Mother's Day? We wanna have uh, first we we'll have French uh, blueberries French toast with oh. different kind of cookies. So it's gonna be a mix of cookie with French toast. Um, maybe a flower to the garnish for the box, something different to all the mommies. We are making the oh. menu now. We're working on that. We have like, 
at least a month to think what I, what I can do something special, something different for from everybody. So I want to identify for cookies to make difference for everybody. Oh, it sounds amazing. I didn't know if it was supposed to be a surprise and I just ruined it. <laughs> hey, Michelle, how much love do you put into your cookies? <laughs> oh, a lot, a lot. I love bake. I put my yeah, patience thinking of what I have to create every week. The love for the cookies is the ingredient that, we, that she put. That's the, the secret ingredient, the love. The, the best ingredient. You can tell she puts a lot of love into her cookies. And so great about Michelle is she has two little kids. Oh. She's opening up a new she's opened up a new business. Uh it it's it's 12, 14 hours a day. Seven days a week. Seven days a week. And yeah. we want our we want our listeners to go support Michelle's store. I mean, it's excellent. I don't understand how you know you it's a part cookies. of the process. <laughs> yes. Oh, Michelle, you work hard. I mean, spend more time thinking, try to do everything fine. Do you have a website, Michelle? Yes, we have a website. It's milotinobakery.com. Melotino, M-I-L-O-T-I-N-O, bakery.com for our listeners. And they're at 501 West Lantana Road. It's east of 95 on the north side of the road. But Michelle, I need to take lessons from you because my cookies are flat. <laughs> I mean, like when I make a cookie, they're that skinny. You make a cookie and they're that bad i don't know what the trick is you yeah be because i like this kind of cookies because it's crunchy outside and inside is very soft it's very soft, soft. yeah very chewy yes yeah i like the so i have a, i have another question so I came home and I put it in the microwave for a few seconds. Is that like some places don't want you to do that? And it was tasted so much better warm. What's the best time to come in and buy a warm cookie <laughs> fresh out of the oven? Yeah, this is the way like a 10 second is, is perfect. 10 seconds. Okay. How the, how the people like. So what's our special sandwich today? And uh, okay, the sandwich we don't change everywhere, every week. Oh, is it is the same? So Michelle, food, Roma and BLT. Okay, the the ones that are on the board, and does the sandwich? come with anything or just the sandwich do you get a drink with the sandwich or chips just sandwich sorry can you repeat is the sandwich a solo purchase or does something come with the sandwich like a drink and sandwich or no, is it, it separate it, no is the sandwich come with a soda soda lemonade coffee okay. whatever you want Okay, that's a really good deal. Yeah. Sandwich and drink, ten dollars, and your sandwiches were really delicious, and they were big. You know what? If we can get uh, Rebel to put your phone number up on the scroll, is it? No, no. The address, and we'll run it for the rest of the show. What's your phone number, Michelle? Nine five four three three six. Seven six zero one. That's on the numbers. Yeah. Let me We're gonna put your number up uh, oh, throughout thank the you so show. Much. And what are your hours? 
8 a.m. to 9 p.m. <laughs> Crazy woman. <laughs> Seven days a week. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> That's a lot. It's difficult, but it's yeah. part of the process. You're going to kill yourselves. I thought I worked hard. 954-336-7601. It's up on our scroll now. Yes. Good. Okay. We really appreciate, first of all, we appreciate the cookies you let us sample, <laughs> uh, the sandwich. We want to wish, you're like our type restaurant. You're a small mom and pop, and you don't have the advertising budget that some of the bigger restaurants do. You're our kind of place. We loved, loved your cookies and your generosity, and we will let people know about your – it's not a restaurant, really. It's, it's a, a bakery. It's a bakery, Yeah. It's a bakery, it's brand new, and I have never had anything so good as we had at your bakery. And I Hi, just- thank you so much. <laughs> no, Michelle, on behalf of both Steve and I, we want you to be so successful. You deserve it. You're talented, you're creative, you're a hard worker. I mean, it's seven days a week, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. with two children. I don't know how you're doing that. And your cookies were just incredible. And I'm coming back. <laughs> I'll be back for sure. I'll be right behind I you. I know. <laughs> If we were there right now, I'd be grabbing it out of her hand or <laughs> when she showed. But we want you to be so successful. We wish you the best. And listeners, we want you to go to 501 West Lantana Road, Lantana. It's right on Lantana Road, east of 95, on the north side of the road. And see Michelle and her brother, Lucio. Or go to their website, to their website and place an order over the phone, have them delivered to you. Yes. So you don't have to, if you're in Miami, there's no excuse. Just call up uh, DoorDash. I'm yeah. sure will love to deliver them to you. And let's please, let's support the their small bakery. business. And you just signed up with DoorDash, didn't you? Yeah, we have okay. DoorDash. You can order dash for Uber Eats, or you can come. Everybody is invited to come here and try our, our cookies. They're going to love it. They're the gonna... best cookies. <laughs> yes, they are. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming on with us. Thank you, and guys. We'll thank you so much. Show. No, thank you. We're going to send you the show after, and you'll have a copy of it, and it'll be on YouTube forever. And thank you so much for everything you both did for us. And again, we want you to be very successful. You deserve it. You two are wonderful. Thank you. Much love. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you, to come and try our cookies. It's going to be a pleasure mm -hmm. to come again. Come again, come again. Oh, All yeah. the people can come and try our cookies. We make we'll, catering. We'll be there in, we'll we'll be be there in 10, 10 minutes. minutes. <laughs> We got it together. <laughs> in 10 minutes. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you both. Have a good night. Bye. That was funny. We said it together. And I'm, I'm not kidding either. I know. Her oh, my were, God. And that cookies. blueberry sounded good. I know. It's amazing the amount of hours that she's putting in over there. Too many. And what's sad is they share their internet with that Neil's cat. Oh yeah. And I think they were having some difficulties with the connection. Least hearing us. Yeah, and me hearing them at But times. your English is you got such broken English. I you know, you can't understand you. I felt bad because she was your grief. Yeah, what do you expect? But poor Michelle, she was worried about coming on because 
she felt like her English was bad, but it's not. I understood at least one out of five words, she said. That's not nice. Yeah, it's not nice. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, if you haven't, if you do not want to cook for Passover, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you better get those orders in. Uh, we've only got a couple weeks left for Passover. And, you know, we love Ben's. Ben's in Boca is a great, great place. Um, you know, not all delis are doing Passover. No, and not all delis are kosher either. And so if you're kosher... Ben's is an, the only alternative, hey, listen, in my opinion. I got to go by there next week and pick up Herosis. Oh, now, they're one of the few people <laughs> who make Herosis. Now, all my Jewish friends out there know what Herosis is. Uh, I think it's the greatest Jewish snack there is. I like mine better. Well, I wouldn't know. You keep promising us to make it, but we haven't seen it. You know, that. the checks in the mail. Yeah. Mine's the horoses is in the refrigerator. Yeah. It's no, in but... the store. The apples are still yeah. waiting yeah. to be bought. <laughs> By the way, I thought about you yesterday. Uh-oh. I was, you know, Sophia loves Reese's. Uh -oh. Do you know that they have a... Margaret, <laughs> Margaret's probably shaking her head now. But yeah, Chocolate. they are real thin Reese's now. I don't think I'd like that. Why? You can still taste the same. No, I like the big, thick, chocolatey. <laughs> That's why I like Michelle's cookies. So <laughs> it's like, like, I love chocolate. Cookie? You do. Oh, my God. I love God. chocolate. What was inside the cake it was vanilla yeah. on the outside no it was like a cheesecake oh, it was right? absolutely i never had anything that good in my life i'm not exaggerating i thought it was like a chocolate kind of mousse or pudding ah. it was a cake and it was like a cheesecake what's the restaurant that's in the same center as ben's that we went to last week oh yes um, um yeah, not Rotelli's. No. It's uh um, right at four forty one and it was Rotelli's. Is it that's what it's called? But it's a Rotelli something. Rotelli. Oh my I gotta tell you something. They have a oh, the pecan salad. chicken salad there. <laughs> the <laughs> the <laughs> Never know what she's talking about. No, but they it's a the salad has got candy pecans and the chicken, the crust is made out of crushed pecans. And they have little berries in there, little cranberries in there. Um dried cranberries. What kind of cheese was it? That they had on there is goat cheese. I mean, is no, it, no, go, gorgonzola. Um, gorgonzola. I got to tell you, it had a balsamic vinegar dressing, which was out of this world. Uh, if you're ever in the area of 441, and oh gosh, I can't believe I'm not going to remember. Clintmore, it. isn't it? Clintmore, yeah, Clintmore. Uh, it's in the same center that Ben's is in. It, it, it's an Italian restaurant, and their food looks so good there. But we just got the salad. We just got through doing yes. a tasting. So uh, it's a great, great place to go. And I want our listeners and viewers to know we are on the lookout for small restaurants, little mom and pops. Uh, I mean, everybody knows the big places. The, the restaurants that people don't have large financing or the backing for their restaurants, that, like Michelle and her brother, perfect example. Look at her hours, seven days a week. 
She didn't kill herself. And by the way, Michelle, if you're still listening, my sister said she wants a sandwich and a cookie now. Oh, big shot. <laughs> I just got her message. <laughs> that was funny. Um, but those are the type of restaurants that we like to find. I mean, we've had high-end restaurants. We've had very high-end restaurants that have tons of money. And it seems like these smaller restaurants are, are not getting the support because they don't have finances. You know, it is, everything is so expensive. Right. You know, just like think you don't think about olive oil, salt, pepper, sugar, sugar flour, flour, eggs. Are so oh my gosh. expensive now. Eggs. Eggs. Yeah. Were they ten dollars a know dozen? What? I saw at one of the grocery stores. That's crazy. Look, I just you know that California just went it, with their fast foods to twenty five dollars. I heard that. And twenty five an hour. That's crazy. Sophia, how do you survive? <laughs> and then, Aren't they oh. the ones that want to increase the hourly rate to fifty an hour? No, twenty five. I thought I read no, something about twenty five a lot. Well, I thought I read they were talking we're about we're probably 50. twelve here, eleven or twelve dollars here in Florida. Degrees don't even make that an hour. How do you? I, I just I don't understand how these because um, I don't know if many people know, but restaurants work on a very short markup. Mm -hmm. You would be shocked if you knew how small of a markup that they work on. And now you're going to have employees going from, what, $11, $12, $13 an hour to $25 an hour? Do you think that's why the Taco Bells eliminated all of the staff at the order and have the kiosk to order? And they only have like a couple people in the back actually making the food listen one of these days they're going to be robots doing everything they're going to go to automated there's right. already been some of um mcdonald restaurants in um in i guess i think in singapore they're trying it out there where you just i'm not shocked you slide the door open for your food Kind of like the Jetsons. Yeah, right? really. It's funny, you know what? That's that's how they. It is. Yeah, and that's probably what we're going to be going to. <laughs> oh, people probably don't remember that cartoon, the Jetsons. And you know, it's really affected me. It it bothers me. All the restaurants that have gone under. I mean, it's real bad because we know how many hours people put into their restaurants and then because of certain people in washington well it's it seems like they're the newer restaurants going under quicker to me like all the ones in coral springs that just recently closed and opened up not too long ago so if our listeners are hungry for cookies or a sandwich, their cookies are five ninety nine, six, six dollars, six dollars. They're huge. She's right. They're like yeah. that big, and they're that fat. I mean, but there's, you know, there's a couple other cookie places in town, right? And they're at seven dollars, and these were larger, yes, and more creative, yes. And they had more choices. And they have a lot of money backing them. Yes. She doesn't. Well, listen, people are going to find out about her cookies. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Do people know about your cookies? They don't want <laughs> mine are skinny. <laughs> I'm not doesn't kidding. Matter. Your cookies are good. I don't know how she makes them so fat. I, I, my cookies are like. Them. Well, how do they start off though? They start they off st flat? No, they end up flat. <laughs> it's got to be something with your oven. They, you they, got a flat oven. They start out fluffy and fat. But really, if you 
know of some really good small restaurants that are really good that you want to get the word out there, go to our website, www.eat and you got to spell out and critique uh, TV show dot com uh, that's eat and critique tv show dot com and just tell us give us the name of the restaurant uh, have them call us our show at 954-336-3767 um, we'll put them on the air plus while you're on line <laughs> Subscribe to our YouTube. There's a, oh, yeah. there's a link there to subscribe to our YouTube. And tell us you want a gift certificate to a restaurant. We haven't given gift certificates out in a few weeks. And we have some left. Oh, we've got some great. You know what? We I have, have got an urge for Chima's. Yeah, I've been talking to Margaret about Chima's for about two weeks. You know, if you've been watching our show, listening to our show long enough, you know that we are huge fans of Chima's. And I got to tell you, if you love meat, I'm talking about many different cuts of beef. It is a wonderland there. Salad bar. That the is salad mine. bar. And they're on Las Olas. Uh, it's a Brazilian steakhouse, but... Some people go, oh, yeah, I've been to a Brazilian steakhouse. I mean, there's Texas, they Brazil. I am telling you, there is, I have been in other cities and gone to their steak, their uh, Brazilian steakhouse. There is not another place like this. First of all, the salad bar alone is a treat. There are probably... 20 stations at the salad bar and remember you had this is not even your main meal they have all types of, of salads and cheeses and soups and what are you laughing at sophia we're we're getting text and one of them is from someone we know that said they just went on their website for Melatinos. And they have a three-tier sandwich, and they want that. And guess, <laughs> guess who? <laughs> oh, I, does it have chili on it? <laughs> and Bob, if you're listening, this is a perfect place too for you to visit Melatino Bakery. We know you're a foodie. And you usually call in, but this is a great place. You do a lot of events. Go there and buy your cookies from them. Well, I want, let me finish about Chima's. It's on Las Olas. You need to make reservations. Yes, you do. Mother's Day. Huh? That would be a great Mother's oh, Day. Oh, you better make those reservations now if you want to go there for Mother's Day. They will be packed. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little pricey, but if you... I mean, let's just say you, you love flank steak. Let's say you love sirloin. They'll just keep bringing it out. Shrimp. Shrimp. Salmon. Chicken, chicken wrapped in bacon. Sausage. All oh, They have pork ribs. They have beef ribs. Uh, and they serve everything with these potatoes, cheese bread, uh, plantains, Oh, yeah. You know what? <laughs> you have these, they're called gauchos, and they table. Each one has their own cut of meat or chicken or fish. They also do a salmon, a glazed salmon. Um, but I, I was going to take Sophia just from, they do a grilled pineapple that is out of this world. What? With cinnamon. Oh, that's right. They put cinnamon on it uh, for glaze. So good. This place, and what you do is when you want more, you have a little disc on the table. You you turn it, I think it's green, mm -hmm. 
and they black. just keep bringing and bringing and bringing. Is it red and black? I can't even remember. I forgot now. I've been there so many times. That is really a cool place to go. Well, it's beautiful, too. Oh, yeah. It's outdoors. How about their desserts? They have about 10 different desserts. And every one of their desserts, two people can eat off of them. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a little pricey, but if you think about all you all can the, eat, you can eat. I guess all commercial that they show the guy sitting at Chima. Oh, that's right. And he said, "Yeah, more meat, more meat." <laughs> and the general manager comes over, so we're gonna have to ask him to leave. <laughs> Your quota is up, which they never happen. do. But <laughs> it was a spoof on Chima's. Yeah, it never happens. Um, you know what? I, I want we have a few more minutes left. I want to thank we have got the best producer, Rebel Rebel. She, you know, we do other shows besides just this one, and I, I swear it's like she is always 10 steps ahead. It's amazing. Most women are. We have a no, Rebel. that was a <laughs> are you patting yourself in the back? No, I'm patting all women, but no, Rebel, Rebel's incredible. Amazing. I know we've had all kinds of producers. Um, she's just amazing. We can't thank her enough. You guys are so kind. Uh, you guys are so kind. We have a call on the line. Bob. Bob's on it? Bob's on Hi, can you hear me? Very hard to hear you. Hi, Bob. Hi, how you doing, Byron? No, I'm in my house. I don't know why. Can you hear me? We can hear you. It's hard, but yes. I'm going to make a celebrity out of you. I'm already one. Hey, you know, now you guys already have one. Oh, um, yeah. that bakery place for sure. Oh, we got a really bad connection. All I heard was bakery place, and it's Militino. <laughs> it's a really bad connection, kind of like theirs wow. almost. <laughs> <laughs> well, How are you doing, Bob? Bob is a long time. Bob said he's a long time listener. He's talking and, What's that? He was talking. Well, Bob said he's gonna try the bakery, and um, y'all make him famous. Yeah. <laughs> but I wanted to say one thing too. I went to a night hour cooking place over in the Pomelot shop in Kansas City. I didn't have any experience on their cookies. So, we got a really bad I'll have to tell you about it some other time. <laughs> We're getting about every fifth word, Bob. <laughs> Bob said he's going to call back another time. Okay. Oh, okay. Thanks, Bob. It was good talking to you, kind of. You <laughs> heard us. I don't know. Every fifth word was nice. <laughs> I heard bakery. I heard <laughs> that's about it. So I promised Rebel before the show that we would email her some cookies. No, that was a mean promise. <laughs> I just wanted her to know we were thinking about her. I already emailed her the cookies. <laughs> yes, the pictures. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which ones did you like the best, Rebel? Oh, Ooh, red look velvet. At that. Oh, yummy. Oh, my God. That was our. Yeah, that was our. I think she's doing this on purpose. I think we're going to be payback. bored there after the show, I think. <laughs> this is payback. I think we're going to be making a visit on Lantana. It's yeah, only we'll, five minutes we'll tell from my sister, house. We'll tell your sister how it was. Yeah, and we'll, we'll get that three stack sandwich that was on the website that she was drinking. 
Uh, I don't know what it was called. I mean, what did it have in it besides olives? <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. I am not an olive person at all. <laughs> not even black olives. And when I go to the grocery store, the you know, the like the Whole Foods, and they had that whole thing of olives. I'm like, get me out of here. And I'd be and saying, what do you think me. you can taste the most in, in their sandwiches? Olives. olives. Oh, it was you have good. to love it. You're Greek. I do love olives. Oh my God. But he had a he had an unusual mayo. He had like a a pistachio mayonnaise. Really? Yes, it was really good. Really good. Oh, I guess. We got to wrap, we gotta wrap it up. Write these two minute let's marks. Get, let's get, <laughs> let me give you our website. Please go to our website, uh, www.eatandcritiquetvshow.com. Um, put a like on there and share it with all your friends. And subscribe to our YouTube, please. And <laughs> how many hands do you get? And write an email. I want a gift certificate with your address and we'll mail you. We still have Reno's. We have a lot of, I think we still have quite a few. We even have in Contra left in, in Broward County. We have a few left in Palm Beach. Right to us. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be back with you next Monday night with more Eat and Critique. Yep. We have a surprise next week. Yeah, Monday we got a good too. guest next week. Be kind. Thank you for listening. God bless. Thank you. You've been listening to the Eat and Critique Show with your hosts, award winning restaurant critics. Steve-O and Sophia brought to you by Encontro Italian Cuisine and Steakhouse, located in Coral Springs on the Walk. Be sure to join us again next week as Steve-O and Sophia interview top local restaurant owners and chefs. Steve-O and Sophia are known for their pure honesty when it comes to reviewing local restaurants. See you next week.